not actually horrible. Ah, it's not great. There's still a shadow demon. Uh, question, by the way. We had a, yesterday. We had a PA that was played with a legion commander there. Wow. All right. Whoa. Um. Before we talk about that, I'm still asking a question about PA. Is it okay that she doesn't have anybody buffing her up? I was gonna actually comment on that before. Um, it Mag is, a, is, it, is a pro it is a problem. Like, there's absolutely legion? nothing that that buffs the PA up. So. I think Legion yeah. got better. Now he's versus Bristle. Right? You make yeah. the Bristle turn to you if that's an option that they like to play. There's a Timber option too, but I guess it's it's hard versus Doom, right? Yeah. Lich and Bristle are uh, were picked more often because uh, there was something about not 100% immunity when you have the level the max level shield and a max max level Bristle. Like, what's the what was the stats on that? What was the the dealio? Uh, it's, I mean, it's very high up there when you have your back turned. It's, I mean, now it's Lich with the with Mars is the one that you have a hundred percent. Okay. With Bristle, you're still gonna take a, a bit from that back because it's not. But not a lot. Not much, no. No. You're not gonna die with that in any case, but, but there is purge still from yep. Shadow Demon. Yep. So. And the potential of, I mean, this is not gonna happen, but potential of an SD with an Agonims which breaks. Yeah, yeah, break would be huge. Uh, but it's probably not going to happen. That's yeah. going to be your position five shadow demon most likely. So it still is uh, even without the break though. The one consideration. Oh Alchemist, my god! Right. They uh, they still have the soul catcher. Soul catcher is actually really good now versus these like tanky heroes. Yep. You just throw it on them. Yeah, fifty. How much is it? It's not fifty, is it? Is it forty? Forty percent, I think it is. It just yeah. it really chunks Instantly you down. Instantly, just halves your hero. Almost. But you got to be able to burst your target down, and I guess PA is okay at that, but the rest isn't yet. Pango's okay. Pango's got good good average uh, okay. damage, but. Alchemist. They, I mean, this them boys lineup looks great. It looks great, but looks at the same time like looks great doesn't work. <laughs> so that's if this, I, if the game lasts too long, they're kind of screwed. The, their combinations are insane, by the way. Doom, then you have Grimstroke, then you have Lich. Yeah, their team oh. fight. Oh, 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 oh. The team fight looks a lot stronger on this side of them boys. This is some next level stuff. Yeah. We're going green. I don't think we're ever going to see the last hit for now. Last hit, last, uh, <laughs> last, last hit picks, for now. Yeah. Unless you can, guys can hear it. No. I don't have an earbud in. Oh, yeah, that's true. You guys have an <laughs> earbud in. <laughs> well, I think uh, they may have picked it. Ooh, Timber Saw. It was Timber. Is it? it was yes. the Timber. Okay, so versus the Bristle. Versus the Bristle versus the Doom. It's all right, but Doom can Doom you later <laughs> on, so it can be problematic, I guess. I don't know. Timber Saw and PA cores. <laughs> It's a bit awkward. It looks very awkward, yeah. I need I you guys to, um, to say uh, your say about the, this draft anyway, though. Bloodbath, yes or no? Three games, yes or no? Oh, there you go. It's a diff this one's a different approach, right, by Demo Boys. This yes. is them going for more of a later game. They still have pretty strong lanes, but... But this is going to be Timber versus Alchemist on the lane, right? Is it? Yes. Are they? Yeah, so it, 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 it's an old school counter to him on mid, yeah. right? You just put him mid. It, though acid spray, shouldn't it be all right now? I wonder. Uh, I, this is, I mean, this timber. He's versus the three strength cores, right? He could potentially have a very good, very game. good game. He's going to be that doom target. So now he, you know, brings a little bit let more pressure off of the pango than they can actually set up, and it's going to be somebody else playing the pango this time around. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, you guys. Alrighty. Game three? Yes, no. Uh, <laughs> if timber, if timber has a really good game. All right. And if they don't ignore him, and I don't know, I think we won't see a game three. You have to either doom that timber and completely ignore him for, for the rest of the fight. If you if you go on him while he's having a good game, he's just gonna obliterate them. They have three strength heroes, so no game three. I'm gonna also all yeah. right. Well, let's find out what's gonna happen here in a second game, and uh, let's hear from our lovely commentators. It is Lacoste and Odie Pixel. Thank you very much, GBS Game 2, Demolition Boys versus Boom ID. And uh, boy, we have, we've got some combos going on, as this panel was saying with this Grimstroke. Going in on it again with how well that they did in Game 1, it's understandable. The Doom Grimstroke was working out. they got more things to combo with some time. They're going to be throwing some double Chain Frost, some double, double the Snotty Viscous Knees. Goo. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be everywhere, boys and girls. So get, uh, you know, get, get your tissues at the ready. It's going to get messy. So I'm not sure about this, uh, like, Shadow Demon pick. I That's going to be a position 5 Shadow Demon. Yeah. 
I, I kind of like him more when he gets gets the items. He became becomes so much more efficient with the range Ether Lens uh, if he has another saving item, a Glimmer Cape. Uh, but it's a great hero against these uh, strength cores. They actually have three strength cores, a lot of uh, HP, 40% of uh, their current HP is not a joke. And plus they also have a Timber to, to burst them. Pango does a good job as well with Swashbuckle, Phantom Assassin, and she just throws a Blink Dagger. They, they might one-shot these heroes. So they're gonna need to tank up. Uh, I expect uh, the same item build from Doom yep. as in the previous game. Yeah, just to mitigate physical damage with the lads, Crimson Guard, now let's see if we can get it. And we're interested to see as well how Schofield steps up because uh, obviously Demo Boys, they, they swap the Grimstroke play around. They've got Axel uh, playing the Lich this game and Schofield will be the one playing the Grimstroke this time around. So pressure's on Schofield. Axel had a pretty good game on the Grimstroke. Schofield's got to show that he can do just as much, if not more, as needed uh, being in this uh, position four rather than the five that we saw the Grimstroke being played in capacity in, in game one. But have you not ready? It's going to take a bit of a chase down here from the two of them. Katara is going to get the Quill Spray stacking up. Keskew's going to come in to provide a target for him to jump across to. Quill Sprays will be in range as Katara will dive him down. He needs one more Quill Spray to do it. He'll find it with ease. His first blood goes to Demo Boys there with a the run down onto the PA. Yeah, and PA now has a Phantom Strike level one. Not that yeah. effective. Katara needs to heal up. Has a Magic Stick ready. Lich is going to get the closer to his, which means that he's going to have a lot of mana to work with on this lane on top of two mangoes. That's a great start for, for Demolition Boys up top. Bottom lane, we're going to see Sword and Schofield and the best to shut down anything that FBC can find from this bottom. It is, of course, the, the Pangolier on a side lane. I feel like, you know, a lot of the times we've seen Pangolier have much less success when he's, when he's on an off lane compared to when he's in a middle lane. Yeah, for sure. This uh, bottom lane Seems good, a lot of region. Not too much uh, kill potential from uh, Grimstroke and Doom unless uh, Boom ID overextends. Yeah, if FBZ aggressively swashbuckles, he could find himself in a position where he'll get run down by the two of them. I would imagine he will play it pretty safely. Now this mid lane, see it. How this goes between the two. I mean, it, at the moment, it's it's pretty even. I mean, J Mar has actually got the slight edge on the first few waves. Is this expected, or do you see, expect to see the Timbersaw be able to, to bully the Alchemist away from the middle lane? The Timbersaw doesn't pressure him that much. Like, one, if they both get level 6, top lane, though. Well, they, they're chasing for Kesq. And with that Frost Shield, I mean, oh, it's so dirty. It's so strong. Despite the nerf, still has an incredible amount of potential for chasing down these squishier heroes. That constant slow being emitted means there's no escape for the Shadow Demon. It's a second kill on top lane for Demolition Boys. Yeah, J. Mari, I know that he plays uh, Alchemist, saw it before, he's extremely good at it, uh, and uh, I think he knows this matchup, because yep. it's it's an old school, uh, I would say that Timbersaw has an upper hand, but uh, it's an Alchemist on Radiant side, which means that he can fall back to a side camp easily. Also, Timbersaw doesn't threaten the kill that early on, if he just keeps himself healthy, still has one flask to work with, so I, I think he's going to be fine. And we are going to see already the Sol Ring picked up by the Bristle up top, so they can play really aggressive with the Quill Spray spams. Axel's going to go for the free and quick trip back to base as he'll suicide the Tier 2 tower. And it's a back up to full HP and mana. Be ready to return to, you'd imagine, the top lane because they, they do have a lot of kill potential there between the two of them. And they're trying to do the best BMID to recover control of the momentum with the pools going on. Kez cute trying to get the lane in a better position for the PA to farm. Bottom lane, roll forward is going to be attempted by Yocam. So Mark Sword's able to dodge it. Final play down onto FBC. FBC actually using the squash buckle. But this Doom, I mean, already uh, early levels. It's a lot of HP. Very hard for, for Boom ID to, to do anything about him, even with the two heroes. He's just too tanky, too early. Yeah. Schofield bought a central ward, devoted so he can pull. They know that uh, they don't need to play aggressive on this lane. Just uh, try to out-level them. Uh, Earth Spirit might rotate mid, and uh, that's the kill potential that uh, they need on this Alchemist. Just try to shut him down. Yeah, especially before he has that 6. And they've got that chance to kill him without that extra regeneration. Top lane, Katara is playing aggressive. Irving will jump across towards the creeps. And uh, they'll, they'll let him hide. They'll let him, they'll let him off for now. They'll focus on getting the creep wave and getting the CS. And despite the aggression, still decent farm for the PA up top. 
With the pulls that were being made by Kez Cute, they were able to hold the lane in a position where he is trading farm with the Bristleback. Of course, the Bristleback also looking uh, to be very farmed as well. Only the Pango that's slightly behind in these lanes, uh, but that was, a, a, that was expected. Being on the off lane, it's a little harder for the, for the Pango, especially against a hero like the Doom and uh, Swords Doom indeed. He had a great game one on the hero, and he's looking to start off the, the laning stage in game two with another solid performance in lane. Yeah, ideally he would want to get uh, a neutral creep, uh, but uh, they're doing a good job just body blocking it uh, whenever it's time to spawn. Alchemist, level five right now, has a soul ring. Is he just gonna start jungling right now and give a free lane to Grimstroke? Well, looks like that's the plan, yeah, Schofield. He says, step aside, big boy, I'm taking the XP. Yeah, I don't think there's too much kill potential on Doom, who's uh, level, level three right oh, now. Them boys, uh, so far, two runes. Oh man, Alk could have picked uh, this one as well. No, he didn't head over in time. As the PA, Fervian's able to just walk over and get it. Down bottom sword, did try wait, and wait, go wait. for the bounty rune snipe, but he's gonna be chased down. Kezku will actually kill Excel, and Kataro will get Kezku in response. Down bottom, they'll finish off the kill. Onto sword. Wait, I, I didn't see the Doom doesn't have a point in Scorched Earth. He went all in Ooh. on aggression, and now his partner left him. Grimstroke's on a mid lane, which means uh, that this so he's, uh, yeah, he's is not paying off. No, not when you're solo. They can kill you, and as we saw, they did just do exactly that. So Sword's got to be a little careful. What did you say? This very aggressive build. And so TPs are going to come out. It's going to be what? Just uh, the Pango back it up to the shrine. It's going to shrine up, get that mana back up. Arcane Boots have been farmed up by Schofield. They're going to try for the play on mid. Yokam's going to miss the roll. No, Schofield does get slowed down by the Shakram. Makoto continues to chase. Radiant Schofield, he's not got any backup. A boom there, a little hesitant on diving for this. Oh, no, they're not. It's just they've got FBZ wrapping around and they'll let the Pango finish off the kill with the help of Keskut's poison. They get the kill on Schofield. Top lane, as the aggression just continues from Katara onto Fervian. It's being pushed back behind the tower. As I say, though, it's still absolutely neck on neck with the CS between these two. 33 CS on the PA, 32 on the Bristle. They're both farming, despite the fact that the Bristle's doing his best to play aggressive on the PA. Yeah, and now Timbersaw is level 6, uh, which means that there's a lot of kill potential on him, and he's just going to pressure the tower play between tier 1, tier 2 tower, while Siege Creep is there which means a, a guaranteed kill on the tower. He gets it. Yeah. Let's see what they got. The setup for Keskew. Shakram down. Schofield trying to get himself out of the Shakram. Silence will slow down the combo a little bit from Makoto for the roll forward there from Yokam. Again, missing both of his spells as the Earth Spirit. Doesn't matter, though, because Makoto oh. will hit his. Yeah, Earth Spirit. Uh, I, think it, I don't think <laughs> he's hit a spell this game. <laughs> not on point. I he's he's trying his best with the rolling, but the, the rolling boulders have failed to hit so far, I think. And the Boulder Smash is apparently as well not too hot. It's just a little bit of a slow start for him, but hey, it's working out. The team's got five for three. He's just testing to see how they move, and yeah. he's using roller, roller Boulder to collect games. the info, and then he's going to hit every single roll in the mid-game. Strategical plays. That's top. Both heroes Radiant now hitting the level six. Keskut's going to come in. They are going to try and set up, get Fervian position from the front. Can they kill this? I mean, if they get the crits, they certainly should be able to, and they can. The poison will do it. Nice rotation from Kesku, securing a bit of positive action for Fervian. Yeah, I'll, I blame Bristleback on this one. He has uh, no vision on the side, is sitting on 30% HP, a bit too cocky. Radiant Do you like this from Jaimara as well? Look at this aggressive jungling on very low HP. He just walks into Boom ID's jungle, and he's starting to farm over here. Shadow Demon, oh. not gonna find him. He's so low. He's got the Soaring and the Chemical Rage. He's sticking around. I mean, he, f he feels safe here. He, d he knows that this area of the map is unlikely to, to be sort of yeah. warded by <laughs> Boom ID. They're, they're not gonna know that he's here. That's risky, yeah. but it, it can pay off because uh, you know when you're playing Alchemist that they're gonna try to put wards in the jungle and oh. hunt you down. Courier, Courier even goes found back. Him. Oh, nearly found him. But it actually a clap, went this way. A clap yes. from a crowd. <laughs> Jay Mari, he's getting away with it, the sneaky, sneaky alchemist. They don't know he's here. He's, under attack. he's getting some good, deep, safe farm. Okay, that's cute. That was a soul catch on to Katara. Katara's not too bothered at all, drawing the wave around, getting the pressure underneath the tier one tower, getting the creep wave pushed in. And Jay Mari will now head back from that area. Oh, he's, he's tempted to go back there. 
He's just stacking. Like, it's beautiful <laughs> over here. I just, this is my jungle now. He's even popping the scan to see if someone's approaching. <laughs> Courier oh. flying on mid. It's not gonna. Oh, guys, not gonna scan scout him. him out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they still won't see him. They'll never know that he's there. They're probably wondering where the hell's this alchemist gone. They've got. They have got observer boards down in the jungle and that top triangle of demolition's half of the map. So they're probably like, we haven't seen that alchemist in a while. Where is he? He's in their jungle. He's taking all their farm. They're doing a good job just playing away from Timbersaw. He has a really great start and uh, just find time for this Alec. Sacked Relic soon to be online. They go down bottom. They are going to try for the Doom. And they should get him with a three of them. The sword will be comboed down by Makoto. Still rocking the zero points in Scorch Surf. And uh, we'll lose his luck. Two bounties. Come on. Oh, they get the pull. Vervius is still able to walk in and take the rune, though. Dara, can he get on top of him? He's going to have the uh, soaring. Oh, able to pop in five seconds, but a nice that, link up. That, that, that should reveal the ward. Yeah. They'll know that it's that. They should be able to take that one away when they wished from Boom ID. Oh, did he really buy Radiance Recipe first? That might backfire. And, oh. it's, and, and it's daytime. He's being picked out. They're going to see him now. They've then, oh, you know, he's smart though. TP's out straight away, and he's out of there. I mean, J-Mark, he got so much from this area of the map, and he gets away with buying the, the recipe first, as you say, because he's only 500 got away from the relic. So and this is going to be such a quick radiance timing for this alchemist. Yeah, and they can see him again because he just TP'd under the wall. Oh. Sword does die again down bottom, but is, is able to bring down Makoto with it. I think he'll take that. that. Yeah, I'll take that. The space is great. And <laughs> look what Stimbersaw building. Oh, God, please Was don't. What's he doing? No, I need to massage my head right now. The Bloodstone? Bloodstone first what, what, item. What year is it? Oh, the... Yikes. You're not a fan of the Bloodstone no. rush in this day and age with all the changes and nerfs? No, you need to tank up for your team. I, I, I guess Pangolier can build Guardian Greaves, but... Dyer's uh... top tower is under hmm. attack. Wow. I mean, maybe he's going to get it and get a bazillion charges and have some crazy Holy mana. Holy luck, but then a problem item is too good. That's Lotus Orb against the yeah. Doom, against Chain Frost. Oh, they'll find Jaimari. He's got his radius though. He's probably like, I'll take a breather. He can take me out for 30 seconds. I already got that initial line timing. I don't care. That's a great timing on a radius. You yeah. got it at 11 minute mark. But the, the problem is when you're playing Alchemist, when you're playing Meepo, every death, it feels like you're losing way too much than a, I'm going to say, normal hero. Sure. It's like my GPM. Yeah. It's gone. It's top. Kataro. It's going to be hunted. He's going to get some of the Quill Spray stacked up. Keskyu has got the ult ready to pop if he needs to do so. He does. Snuff magical damage coming in from Makoto's combo. To bring down Kataro now with the Demonic Purge saved. He can use it to cut down Sword. Sword being slow, surrounded. Swashbuckle 4 from FPZ. Another Chakra on Q from Makoto. They do get the Soul by now to the two of them, but they'll get the kill onto the Doom. They pick up the two kills, stroke of fate out to Makoto, not enough damage to kill him off. Makoto will survive. Yeah, they're really low on damage right now. If there's no Doom, Radiance if this Alchemist is, is not playing attack. active, Lich still level 5. Uh, Bristleback doesn't do that that much damage. I, I, I feel like they might run into a problem Radiance where th their damage is uh, pretty static and the Alchemist is going to be the only one who's going to be dishing out the damage. I'm going to try and have a poke at Yokam here, but look at that Vip Booster and he's pretty tanky. As you say, it's just, they don't have any quick ways of getting kills. Yeah. And their control is really low, besides uh, Lich. Lich's uh, Sinister Gaze, uh, Grimstroke ulti. It's tough. All these heroes are pretty mobile. Yeah. On side of Boom ID, you can just blink away, roll away, swashbuckle, timber chain away. I think it's a, a lot of pressure it's just on Jay Mari to become this unstoppable beast on the Alchemist and, and somehow keep the game going. Get to the point where you're handing out the Aghanims. you got a few nice Aghanims to give out this game. They, but they need, they need sort of that 60 minute game. If it's anything shorter, you've got to, you've got to favor Boom ID's lineup. Schofield will be found to kick back from Yokam. We'll set up for Kezku to pick up another with the poison. 12 to 4. Boom ID. Getting kill after kill. The net worth is even. Most of that down to the fact that Jay Murray is this alchemist. He's going to have this inflated net worth. We might do the planet thick and fast, just as they need to. Yeah. As Makoto continues to, to build into that bloodstone. We'll see, we'll see how it works out for him. 
but it may, as you say, be something he regrets. If he gets it and they are able to somehow kill the Timbersaw, then it, it's going to feel pretty bad. But maybe he identifies what, what you've seen as well. They, they don't really have the damage. As long as he doesn't get doomed, he's probably not going to die. Someone needs to play aggressive on Radiant's team because... Uh, yeah, who's, who's making need, the plays? Yeah, no one's making the plays right now. All in. And are able to find and single out the Grimstroke. But FPZ with the Rolling Thunder, seeing if he can hunt down for more. Demo boys are in. Scorched Earth popped by Sword. But as, as we say, it's so hard for them to start any action. As soon as Boom ID come running at them, all Demolition boys can do is just sort of back off and, and hope that Boom ID don't push the lane too hard. They're not really ready to respond to this. And of course, while this is all happening, for the most part, it's just four members of Boom causing this chaos. Space is there for Fervian, and he's working towards that battle for you. Boom ID, they're winning the vision game right now. Oh, Alchemist is going to snipe uh, two bounties. So again, two for two. Problem is, they don't have a way to start a fight with. They can react to what Boom ID is doing. They, they might overdid it during the draft. Like, we're going to have this super combo combo with, with the, the soul, Grim yeah. Stroke, Glitch, and Doom. No one's going to be able to cast spells. I mean, yeah, that, yeah, if they get the double chain, Frost, the double Doom, maybe that, that's all they need. But they have to get it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard indeed. Nice Boom ID. We've got FBZ and Makoto Radiant's getting the pressure onto the tier 2 bottom. Not really a huge amount that can be done by Demolition Boys to slow this down. They're sort of grouped up mid. They still have the uh, Kataro Bristleback separated up top. They're going to smoke up and move down here, but it's, it's, a, it's a hard fight. I mean, they're going to go forward. Frost Shield is there to try and protect the Doom, but the damage output Pieces is too much for the Timbersaw. They do get the Chain Frost out. Look at these bouncy bounces going on and on. The Sinister Gaze out. They'll allow them to kill up the Earth Spirit. Can they get more? Buyback comes out from Sword. He's seeping over to the Shrine. They want to keep this one going. They'll surround Makoto. Makoto is able to heal up with that Bloodstone active. Does mean he's out of mana. It will allow him to survive and get out of there by the looks of it. Makoto will be able to walk away. Timber chaining up. That's a really buyback. Bad buyback from Doom. He was hesitating for six, seven seconds and couldn't catch anyone. If he wanted to do it, just do it instantly while they're in a bad spot. Mid lane. Jaimari. Siege creep. Yeah, he's gonna get it. Oh, the crits are in. And Jaimari poking his head forward. That's gonna be costly for him. Costly for Sword as well. As Sword tries to help out. The Fervian turns up with a TP, picks up a couple of big kills. Soul Catcher plus Timbersaw, it's extremely effective. Now he has a double damage, he can just stand and they can siege so easily. Every time there's no Doom, no Lich ulti, no Grimstroke ulti, all the big cooldowns, they can go for objective. And this is going to open up the Roche for them. And this, this position one Bristleback just doesn't seem to offer a lot at the moment. Katar, he has got the pipe. But they can almost just ignore him at this stage of the game. Yeah, it's I feel just like, not an issue. I feel like that Bristleback could have been, let's say, a Centaur, and he would do so much more, even with these kind of items. Attack. You have a reliable stun, Radiant's you have something to run away from a fight, or just a better catch. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. See so yeah, BZ. Just going for the full utility blink into yours. I'm going to have the roll in, yo camp. Donald Kadari has the pipe, so he's a fair bit tanky this time around, especially with the Frost Shield. Concoction is he going to come out in time? It's not. The Rolling Thunder, I mean, it's impossible for Jay Murray to do anything at all. He TPs into his demise. The Soulbind, Chain Frost, the double combo coming in. It's doing a lot of work. They've killed off the Shadow Demon. Can they get Makoto as well? He's silenced, surrounded, and he's deaded. They get the kill on the Timbersaw. Fervian will be able to TP out. Yokam can roll away. So oh, Jay Murray dies, but they, this time round, Demolition Boys are able to get two kills in return. It's something. They got two kills, but if there's no Grimstroke ulti on them, like, if Boom by D decides not to fight, they can just run away from it if there's no Grimstroke ulti. Doom needs that Blink Dagger ASAP. Oh, he's got to get in there. Got to get on top of them, get those ideal dooms down. And even as it is, you know, Fervian with the decent timing on the Battle Fury, this PA is getting bigger and bigger. It's going to become a problem. Anytime they get on top of a target, and just the speed that they can nuke down a hero, as you say, the, the combination with Soul Catcher and any of these large amounts of nukes, whether it be the magical combo from the Timbersaw or the physical crits from the PA, you are going to get those kills to 
They immediately start the fight. Oh, somebody's gonna die on Demolition I Demolition Boys lineup at the start of every team fight. First back is building all those uh, team fighting items. Pipe ready, Vanguard finished, uh, has mech queued up. So they're gonna need to stick around the Bristleback because they're extremely squishy. Both Lich and uh, Grimstroke, no no escape mechanism whatsoever. Grimstroke's still level five, which uh, level nine, which means that he doesn't have the GPM talent going. Smoke coming out from Boom ID. Let's see what they can find there. FBZ cares cute. And Joe Cam on the hunt. Katara's gonna be in the front. And put the Soulbind combo down. Anything to follow it up. They'll get the double goo out. Double silence as well. Yule's up in the air, trying to get away. The Doom is down. Will catch out the Pangolier. They'll chase him out. Axel, Frost Shield, keeping him safe for now. Makoto's looking for the line for the Chakra. Will find it. Get the kill on Axel. They did kill off Kesku. Kesku buys back immediately because he wants to back up Makoto's. Makoto's she keeps on fighting through this all. He has been silenced. Jay Mari, can he get the concoction down in time? He can. That's going to be the Timber Sword dead. Roll ball from FBC. Rolling Thunder comes in onto the two of them. He gets the perfect angle between the cliffs to look to push onto Sword. Sword actually gets knocked down to the low ground. That's going to work out in his favor as he goes in with the Infernal Blade onto the Pangolier. FBC uses himself up in an attempt to get away, but he cannot. Demolition Boys getting two core kills. Despite that buyback from Kesku, Boom ID could not win the engagement. Demolition Boys are starting to take fights in their favor. Man, I'll take five chicken nuggets over first item Bloodstone of Timber so, uh, th th This is just It's not doing bad. it for you. Um, he had such a good start. Oh, now he has Holy Locket as third item. Katara doesn't really care too much about these, this magical damage. They are going to toy around with him. In fact, there is no backup coming for him. And with the physical off, Furby, and if he can slow down and get to the front, they will kill him. A big crit to the face of the Bristol will cut him down. They get Katara out of there. Jaimari is trying to build to, to get involved more reliably. Looking for that BKB on top of the Manta style, making sure he can get involved as the Alchemist. A lot of the times we've been seeing him cook up the concoction and getting silenced by the Earth Spread at the last moment. Boom, with the Bristleback dead on Demolition Boy's lineups. They're going to send the PA into the pit. Can they get away with this? What have we got? We've got the Soul Bind online. How long to the Chain Frost? Chain Frost is back online, so they could look for the clutch combo, Demolition Boys. They know they're in a Roche pit. This Phantom Assassin is extremely farmed. Yeah. Level 18. Level Deso. 3 coup de grace, Desso, plus Battle Fury. They can't contest it. Ooh. And actually changing the decision there on the Alchemist. Instead of going for the BKB that he was saving up for, he picks up the Blink. So, slowing down the BKB purchase in favor of having that initiation. Double concoction with the Soul Pine could be, could be something big. Could be something beautiful. They really want to kill two heroes yeah. before they... Before they start the fight, everything is where every. I mean, we, we we could tell it in the draft. You know, they were building everything ab around the Grimstroke combos. They've got to make it happen. It's pretty much all they have at the moment. It's gonna be so hard for Boom ID to siege tier three towers if they don't grab a kill. You have Crimson Guard, Lich, Lich armor, and their siege potential is not that great. Besides PA having that death, so oh, that's the only one that's gonna be hitting towers. So Demolition Boys, they definitely have the capability of slowing this game down. Allowing space on the map for Jai Mari to, to farm up to be this huge beast on the Alchemist. I mean, you have an Alchemist lineup, yeah. and the uh, enemy team is 1k gold ahead. It's got to feel pretty good for Boom. As Furby and the farm continues, he's very close to having a BKB now. He's able to jump away, the both will hit. Turn and kill it off. No trouble at all there. Hunting. But Jamari down bottom. With the blink, he does get in the trees. Makoto, he's cutting those trees. There's no TP available for Jamari. They'll find him. As Jamari is surrounded by the two of them. He almost certainly cannot escape from this yeah, county. Blink oh, he does. He's got it back. He didn't get away. They were trapped there on the pango. He swashbuckled into the corner. He couldn't get back out. TPs are coming in there, hunting Jamari. He's got to somehow duke him for 50 seconds. It's not going to happen. He has no TP. And they will finally kill him off. No. Fervian being the one to claim the bounty as well as he gets the kill. Nearly pushing him to that level 20. His BKB now complete on the Phantom Assassin. He is kitted out and ready to go, Fervian. Yeah, with that BKB, it's going to be a real trouble for him. The problem is, one of the problems on side of them boys is... Uh, they're not going to scale that much with their heroes. Bristleback is going to fall off. Same goes uh, for Doom. Oh, my God. My goodness. 
Bristleback not helping him too much. Until the Frost Shield will, though. That will by sale. Put him off. Fervian's still in. He finds the Lich. He just jumps forward with the crit. He does go deep, but there's no Fervian. The throw away his first life on the Aegis. Alchemist, five seconds. I'm gonna zip in, look towards Schofield. Schofield's gone, he may have to buy back for this one. Katara's in trouble. Makoto's following him down with the Timber Chain across. Katara's gotta get out of there. Spirit Vessel down upon him, he'll have to look to get back to base. Concoction's thrown out. Jamari leads forward, Manta style being used. They get the soul fight. Where's the follow combo? Sword, he's moving in, he's trying to find a Doom Target. Can he do so? He does. He'll get it down only onto the Panga though. They just said okay though, they didn't need it on the Earth Spirit. Joe Camp should tick down anyway. No, maybe not. He's actually still alive as they're just turning. Fervian with the BKB chasing down Kataro. The crits come out. Triple kill, ultra kill for Fervian. As get Axel, oh, it's coming. You can smell it. Fervian's gonna find it. Look at me before you kill me as Rampage is there for the PA. Fervian just shredding Demolition Boys. They're gonna take uh, one side for sure. 25 seconds. Where's that PA? Shadow Demon, where are you going? He's gonna pick up uh, Bounty Runes with that Deso plus Armor Corruption. More than enough uh, to bring down one set of racks. They might get one more tier three, but uh, they popped uh, one. One buyback on, on a Grimstroke. I don't see them coming back it's, into this game. It's an 11 it's really Kelly. Tough. It really is. They're so far ahead now, Boom. The draft of Demo Boys has just not worked out. Everything relied on the Soulbind combos, and they, they've just not found them enough. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. As they just, I mean, at this point, they, they just don't have a carry. It, it's this alchemist who's built to farm, and that's about it. Their damage is this double chain frost, this double doom, and they're not finding it nearly as frequently as they need to to keep themselves in a game like this. It's a 12k lead, it's double damage up top, ready for the taking. In the previous fight, they did such a good job just stalling that uh, double doom with the disruption with Yule Scepter on Pangle yep. here. They just made it impossible to find, and now the combo is going to get even harder with the Lotus Orb complete on the Timber Saw. He can trip him up. He can send the combos flying back their way if they're not too careful on the Demolition Boys. Fervian finds the Lich. I mean, normally he says just to support, but that is, that's that's their damage. That's the Chain Frost gone. He has got buyback. And he may very well need to use it if they want to hold on to a second set of racks with the way that Boom ID is preparing to pressure another lane. Fervian. Still got half the duration left of the double damage room. 20 seconds till the Lich is back. I mean, the best to dissuade Fervian from pushing on. He'll get the tier 3 tower. Roll forward. Daggers out onto Katara. Look at the concoction out, but the Lotus Orb was there in time. Reflecting the stun straight back at the Alchemist. Yo comes in. He's focusing the back line. They find the Tomb and Sword just dies. He's dead for 50 seconds. No buyback. The Soulbind is out, but there's no combo. There's no follow up. There's no chance. It's GG. It's called by Demo Boys, Boom ID taking game two. And it was pretty, pretty one sided. A very impressive performance from Boom ID. I mean, this game, how much would you say this was on the draft? Oh, 90% on the draft. This draft is yeah. so.